Today's big boy video is sponsored by Adobe. Their new speech to text tool in Premiere Pro is a game changer. Click the link in the description below and stay tuned till the end of this video for more info. Hi, I'm very excited for this. We're going to do a little event here called Guess the Movie. A while ago, I challenged you to recreate any scene from a movie, but there's a catch. I asked you to upload two versions of it, one without any audio and one with audio and captions. Because what we're going to do tonight is we're going to watch your muted movie scene recreations. And I, along with you watching at home, will try to guess what movie scene you're trying to recreate. Then we'll watch your clip with audio and captions so that we can all figure out how right slash wrong we were. Okay, here we go. This one comes from Cameron's Extra Content. Let us all try to guess the scene. Right off the bat, I'm getting Whiplash vibes because, you know, boy with drum set. I've never seen Whiplash. Oh, 100% Whiplash. <laughs> oh, is this the, this has to be the tempo scene, right? I feel like he throws a chair at the kid and I'm going to guess it's uh, it's the tempo scene though. So now, now we're going to have audio. <laughs> Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> we got it. I do. The puppet kind of looks like J.K. Simmons. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. All right, fifty more to go. This is from DBB Three Videos. Let us all try to guess the movie. He hears his spidey senses tingling. Oh, they're like talking. Oh, they're having a convo. Okay. He did. Oh, do a flip. Oh, do a flip. That's for, oh, do a flip. So that, th it's Spider-Man, but it's specifically Spider-Man Homecoming. Do a flip! Yeah! So far, so good. Oh, there's loss? Oh, let's try, I missed loss. Hold on, apparently I missed the loss. Oh! This next one is from Steven Aalongi. All right, hold on, let me analyze this. Why is he dressed like that? Why has he got a tie? All right, so he's being interviewed by two other dudes. Oh, this looks familiar. This looks really familiar. This is very hard. This could be anything. I'm leaning towards Matrix a little bit, where Neo is first interviewed by Mr. Anderson, Agent Smith. So I'm an idiot. Let me try that again. My final guess is The Matrix, 1999. I don't think I'm right at all. Let's see. If you want to win the war tonight, then we have to make a deal. Is this Inglorious Bastards? What kind of deal? Yeah! Oh, totally kind you wouldn't have the authority to make. Oh yeah, the accent is 100% the other guy. The name, oh, the name escapes me, of course. That, uh, oh, that actor. Ooh, that's a bingo. Oh, that's, okay, god damn it. I should have gotten that, I should have gotten that. You just say bingo. You just say bingo. Hey, okay, I got that part. Bingo. Oh, he's good, he's good, that's impressive. Here we go, gamers. Going to the door. Not really telling much. Oh, Captain, my captain? Did you say, oh, Captain? Is this, oh, Captain, my... Oh, I got you. Robin Williams is about to exit the classroom. And then one by one, the students get up on the desks and say, oh, Captain, my captain. Meanwhile, the teacher, the substitute teacher or whatever, or the principal, I don't know, I didn't see it. They're like yelling at the kids saying, you get back down. You sit back down and open your books to page 358. And he's like, oh, Captain, my captain. Yep, yep, yep. And the name of that movie is Dead Poet Society. Say it. Say the line. Say the line, Bart. Captain, my captain. Hell yeah. <laughs> sit down. Yeah, sit down. Yeah, sit down. Do you hear me? Sit down. <laughs> sit down. I feel so good. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yay. That was the feel good moment of the summer. Well done, Parker. Oh, this is fun. This is a fun game. I'm having a blast. Okay. So, oh, oh, I call it the room. This is the room. This is the room. This is the room. Shitty green screen, which is a big part of the room. I know that backdrop, and I'm pretty sure that's the shirt that um, Mark wears. Oh, hi, Mark. Th is this the oh, hi, Mark scene? I think this is the oh, hi, Mark scene. After he said, oh, hi, Mark. I've never seen the room, but I know this scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How is your sex life, right? <laughs> oh, damn it. I looked at the chat and they all said, what a story, Mark. Fuck! Whatever, I'm giving myself the point. You can't tell me otherwise. She ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> <laughs>
What a story, Mark. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> you nailed that. Let's see who made this masterpiece. This was by Patrick Martinez. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> uh, here's a real brain buster. Let's go. Okay. So I'm going to guess... Hopefully... Mandalorian? That's all we get. It might not be Mandalorian. Raising his hand. We can go the obvious route and say Star Wars, but which Star Wars? There's like 20 of them. E.T. phone. What if it's E.T.? What if it's like E.T. phone home or phone home or something? Guys, this could be anything. This is impossible. I am inevitable. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Don't end game me. Don't end game me with the with the baby Yoda puppet. We just got end gamed. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not funny. DX1, congratulations, you endgamed all of us. Next one. All right, got some animation here. Is that Trump? Or is that just, you know, stereotypical, you know, politician? Rosebud? No. <laughs> hey, great thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> what are we working with here? Villainous politician type, maybe, talking to our protagonist. And he's looking at someone. All right, so he has some mole. Is this Austin Powers 3? And why is his back turned like that? Like this part, like, why are they like that? Why are they like, why are they like that? Oh shit, someone just said Amadeus. It can't be Amadeus though. Cause he's, in, he's wearing a tie. There were no ties in Amadeus. I'll be very mad if it's Amadeus. Cause I love Amadeus. That's a great movie. So let's get this straight. You think that... Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> We just got jokered. <laughs> this is supposed to be De Niro. I like the choice of um, having the first one in black and white and then the second one in color. You knew that this would spoil it. You knew you knew that, that the color palette would spoil it because it 100% would. If I saw the green hair and the red jacket, yeah, 100. And now I know, now I know why it's back because that is the meme. Like, yeah. I do. Someone in the chat wrote Hamilton, and he looks he looks like a founding father. That was really hard. And I feel like you cheated a whole lot with the, uh, the color palette. This one doesn't count, and I was barely trying. This one's from, it's nothing special. What you did was deceptive and deceitful and uh, kind of clever. Okay, we in a forest. We're still in a forest. Oh, could it be Twilight? I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess Twilight because of the forest and the, the lighting. I'm going to, first off, I love the title. I have depression, thank you. <laughs> Great title. Let's say the first Twilight. Here we go. You're impossibly fast and- Yes! Mmm! Whoa! Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Your eyes change color. Say it out loud. Say it. Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I need to apologize. <laughs> The fact that I was able to tell it's Twilight just goes to show your strengths as a filmmaker. This is from Lizzie Sinest Sinistera. Team Edward for life. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? Are we in a uh, a jail? What is this? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Easy, easy, easy. Les Mis, Les Miserables. Look down, look down. Five oh one six two four. This is the beginning of Les Mis, I think. Five, one, six, two, four. <laughs> oh, I like that. Final answer, Regis. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Now, prisoner 24601. Your time is up and your parole's begun. Yes! Yes! This patch of shame you show until you die. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> you kind of look like Russell Crowe. Like you're doing the, the, the pouty face that he does. Who did this? Babitskov, Voroshilov, I love what you did. Incredible filmmaking. Next up. All right. I'm already getting Twilight vibes again, but I don't think I, I don't think we'd get Twilight twice so so soon. But let's see. Here we go. Lovely coloring. Shit. I mean, could that could this be Twilight again? Who wears a red dress? Is that a red herring? Huh pun unintended. And what animal is that? We have to do a frame by frame on the animal. Okay. Hamster slash guinea pig. Oh, 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 princess bride. 
they're entering the 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 forbidden forest or whatever wesley and princess uh buttermilk humperdink princess this is 100 percent the princess bride yeah fire swap yes the popping sounds before wesley what about the rous Runs in the usual size? I don't think they exist. That's good. I love the very abrupt ending. This scene was recreated by Naplock Blubba. Next up, next up. All right. It's got a little Joy-Con, but it's probably not a Joy-Con. It's probably a prop. Is, are you going to stab yourself in the hand? All right. Who stabs himself in the hand? What's that? Oh, I feel like I should know this. Oh, shit. I feel like I should know this. <laughs> oh my god damn it's a hell of a punch is it supposed to be an axe <sighs> so it opens with this dude stabbing himself in the hand why like attack on titan style what do you do is that like a is that like a wand is there like some power that's being unleashed shit i don't know let's see what the answer is ah <laughs> Still don't know it. Still don't know it. This is the furthest I've gone without knowing it. Great captioning, by the way. What is this? Comes in for the final blow. I told you you'd die for that. I told you you'd... Fuck. This is Infinity War, isn't it? You. <laughs> Uh, I got endgamed and Infinity Ward? That's impossible! Good have gone for the head. <laughs> Hold on, but what's the beginning though? Oh, he's putting- oh, he's putting the Infinity Stone in his gauntlet. Now it makes sense. It looked like- it, it looked like you were stabbing your hand! Well done, Mr. Machete. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'm still angry though. Just for that, I'm cracking open another White Claw. I'm furious. <laughs> Enough ranting. You guys wanna see the next one? All right, another no audio one. All right, old. Oh. Oh! Do -do -do. <clears throat> Do -do 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 -do. Come on, that's Gandalf, and that's uh, little Bilbo. A wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, final answer. Uh, it's not, it's Frodo, not Bilbo. I corrected myself. You're late. All right, then. Oh. Keep your secrets. Keep, that's it. What? This was made by Dandy Andy. Let's keep going. Hmm. Hmm. Stop motion, eh? Oh, I feel like, oh, this looks familiar. What is this? Is this Avatar? Is this, is this uh, Star Wars episode uh, five? Luke, I'm your father. And he's like, yeah, you killed my father, man. And then he's like, no, you idiot. I'm your dad. I've always been your dad. I love you. And Luke's like, what? You, you're tripping. <laughs> yeah, he's shaking his head like, no, it's not true. Yeah, this is it. This is 100% episode five, The Empire Strikes Back. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Didn't even look anything like Star Wars, and I still got it. You know what I think uh, uh, did it for me? The robot doing this. No, I am your father. Oh, I love what you did with the captions here. Common misconception, and this is from Muse Krant. Hell yeah, I love the Lego movie. Next up, I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one. Okay, I'm not gonna get this one. First, I was thinking like The Hobbit. Is this like Zootopia or something? I feel like it's a cartoon or it's cartoony. Is he like howling at the beginning on the left? He goes, ho! I don't know what else to guess. I'm gonna guess Zootopia. <laughs> I don't know. Someone in the chat just wrote Emperor's New Groove. That makes a lot more sense. It's the beginning, right? The old, little old man that like gets in his way. He threw off my groove, yeah. You threw up the Emperor's Groove. Yeah, oh my God. God damn it. I read that in the chat, I'm taking the L. Ow, you threw off my groove. Sorry. 
But let's see who did this amazing uh, recreation here. Don't even worry about it. My dumbass thought it was Utopia. Let's go. Oh, fuck. I wonder... I wonder what this one could be. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It just makes me want to download the Just Ants app on iOS and Android. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Oh no. You just revealed yourself to be the princess of Textopolis or whatever. Great costume. I love the Jean costume. We don't even need to see the one with audio. Can we get a shout out to Emoji Movie? I just want to feel this moment. Thank you very much for not DMCAing us. I appreciate that. Whoa, oh, come on. I just want to feel this moment. It's a great scene. This is from Lee Love, Live Laugh Love, Lee Love Lion. I'm just going to say, nude in the first frame. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> Aaron! Aaron! I just realized it's Athena P. Aaron is a really big fan of Athena P's uh, TikTok. What is this? What is this? Whatever this is, it's a lot. Did you, <laughs> did you figure it out? I did not. I did not figure it out. Let's go back. You're waking up. What the fuck is this? I will get this. All right, so you're waking up. You're in bed. What is all of this? And why the feet shot? The feet makes me think of misery, but I don't think it's, it's not misery. There aren't kids in misery and there are kids here. Is this a dream sequence? Kids? Oh, oh my God, I just figured it out. It's Shrek, isn't it? It's one of the Shreks. It's either three or four. Fergus, Farkle, and Felicia, right? It's either the beginning or the end of Shrek 4. Because Shrek 4 opens with a montage of Shrek hating his kids, hating his wife, hating his Shrek life, hating his Shrek dad life. He hates being an ogre dad. My gut is telling me this is the beginning of Shrek 4. I will chug the rest of my drink if I'm wrong. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the best submission so far. I just noticed the color correction to make it not obvious. Subscribe to Athena P. Next up, what do we got? Another animation. Another animation. Let's go. All right, reading on the floor. I'm right off the bat. I'm guessing Scott Pilgrim eating on the floor. Is this the bread makes you fat scene from Scott Pilgrim versus the world? I'm gonna I'm gonna read your lips and see if you say bread makes you fat. Yeah, bread makes you fat. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking bread. Yeah. Woo! It's actually really good garlic bread. Yeah! Garlic bread is my favorite food. I could honestly eat it for every meal. Bread makes you fat. Yeah, let's go. Erin is in the chat and she's already, she said, I think you're cheating. Honey, 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 you know how big of a fan I am of Scott Pilgrim. Do not tell me I don't know this movie. Let's credit the creator though for animating this so beautifully that I was able to get it in under a second from now. All right, next up. All right, got a little sweater vest. Could be up. Kind of dressed like up. Oh, oh, oh. Back to the Future? Back to the Future? I'm not sure. I haven't seen Back to the Future in a long time. Did you say McFly? What? Yeah, this is Back to the Future. Because I think this is when the son sees how much of a pushover his dad is, right? Really good costuming. Uh, okay, Biff, I'll, I'll finish your homework tonight and Aww. I'll have it over to you first. Oh, McFly, your shoe's untied. Oh. Oh. Don't be so good. Yeah. So oh, good. McFly. So good. Very believable acting. Oh, it's a di oh, they're at the diner. Right, 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 right. You're George McFly. George McFly, yeah, okay. This is by Oliver B. Productions. Let's keep going. Alien? Is this alien? Yeah, that's totally alien. Not a bad job. Not a bad job. <laughs> what? Gotta say, using a uh, green man suit to, to green screen the alien coming out, that's kind of a pro gamer move. <laughs> I feel like lip syncing is even harder than doing your own audio. Don't touch, oh. don't touch it, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Konzuis, next up. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah, Bonnie and Clyde. Are we gonna do the Bonnie and Clyde scene? No, it's not Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, that's all we get? Maybe it's Pulp Fiction. 
I'm going to guess Pulp Fiction because the gentle sir on the left notices something. He's looking at something like, oh, Bazinga. And I think that's because there's like a dead dude in the back. Let's see if I'm right. Hey, you can't park that here. You can't park that here. Ghostbusters? Everybody can relax. I found the car. Decent suspension work. How much? Only 4,800. And off the drums, pads, rotors, a little wiring. Is it Ghostbusters? Yeah, I've never seen Ghostbusters. <laughs> I've heard it's good. Um, so we. This is from DYFEA. Never have I ever seen Ghostbusters 1, 2, or the girl one. Let's keep going. Oh! Monty Python and the Holy Grail! Three, sir, three! Yeah, 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 yeah! It's the, the holy hand grenade of. Ant What's it called? The holy hand grenade of Anti Antitoc, Antiog? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. One, two, five, three, sir. Three. Genius. Very good uh, split screen job here. That was from Taiwanese boy. What else we got? Okay. Ooh, source filmmaker. Uh, Road of Perdition. Let's see. Mafia, some kind of mafia movie. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's so dark. Godfather, Goodfellas. Blues Brothers? Could be Blues Brothers. I've never, I've never seen Blues Brothers. <laughs> I'm thinking Blues Brothers. Two dudes in a tunnel with a comical thing falling off their car. They're dressed up like Blues Brothers. I'm gonna guess Blues Brothers. Tell me I'm wrong. We got a full tank yes. of gas. Half a pack of cigarettes. I think that's it. Hit it. Yeah. Is that from Blues? I, I don't know. I don't know that scene. I think it's, am I right? <laughs> Yo, what can I say? I love that movie. <laughs> This is from Alf E5. God, I love this movie. More. All right. We got three nuts on an Oreo. Oh, is this Shrek? Oh, gumdrop buttons? Yeah, do you know the Muffin Man? Yeah. Are you going to hold up a... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Shrek. Not the gumdrop buttons, right? Yeah. The Muffin Man? Yeah, the Muffin Man? Ooh, nice. Nice work with the camera. Oh, that's awesome. Is Aaron saying shit in the comments? Yo, Aaron thinks I'm cheating again. I'm not. This is me. This is who you married. I'm sorry for being passionate about films. I've never watched the Blues Brothers, but I've seen all four Shrek movies. <laughs> Where did I go right? Stay tuned until the end for a very special surprise. I love surprises. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not the monster here, you are. Very good Lithgow. Very, me. very impressive. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? I love the fucking bo vine boom sound effects. She's married Amazing. to the Muffin Man. <laughs> That's a bingo. Uh, this is from SSC Studios. I think I have a problem. This had a lot of cuts in it, a lot of um, varied angles. I love the cinematography. I hope every other Shrek is in this contest. We better have a Shrek 2 and a Shrek 3. Let's keep going, gamers. All right, got some more cloning. Interesting, interesting. What involves a river? What's it called, like the river wild? A river runs through it, bird box. What is this? What could this be? What are you saying? And why are there two of you? Why are there two of you? At first I was thinking like the Matrix, like he's believing, but that doesn't make sense. Get, like, why is it a boat scene? Oh my God, is this the social network with the Winklevoss twins? That's my final answer. I just saw this movie. They're like bragging. They're like, I feel like we should give him more of a chance. How about we get out the boat or something like that? That's my guess. Social network, Winklevoss, let's go. That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. Fuck! <laughs> Not even close! Pirates of the Caribbean. I was so sure. I was so sure of it too. I'm so mad. I'm not even going to give this person credit. Kidding. This is from Beth Jezos. Whoa, big fan. My wife orders from you every day. Oh, this was a clue. This was a clue. The answer was before me the entire time. Next up. Next up. All right. Pulp Fiction. Totally Pulp Fiction. Is this the Ezekiel... No, not Pulp Fiction. What is this? All right. One has a gun. The other has a sword. Is this Cowboy Bebop? 
See you, Space Cowboy. I don't know many other gun. Uh, first off, wait, do you guys notice the Pizza Planet truck? This is a reference to um, uh, Pixar's uh, Toy Story. <laughs> it could be, it could be the original Batman. It could be Jack Nicholson saying, you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? And he says, what? Let me see if I can read lips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, I'm right. You ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's Batman. Tim Burton's Batman, 1989. Let's go. Tell me something, my friend. You ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Let's go. That's a really, you frame by frame that gunshot didn't you you mad lad i'm giving you a like for that this is of course one of andrew's edits next up okay what do we got here what do we got here kind of looks like no never mind i was gonna say samurai jack it kind of looks like a coup right i don't think it's a coup all right this is a clue this is a clue this is a clue flowers in the background oh 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 I even referenced this scene. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> I referenced the scene earlier tonight. It's the room. It's the flower shop scene at the room. You're my favorite customer. Hi, doggy. And is, what does he say? He's like, I like to buy a dozen roses. It's just very awkwardly. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Hi, doggy. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Hello, I'd like to buy a dozen yes! roses. Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. That'll be $18. There you go. Keep the change. Hi, Doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye-bye. I love the props too, not just the flowers, but spitting out the so money. The That's change. adorable. Oh, this is for my favorite YouTuber, Kitty Poops. I'm honored to be your first like. Oh, someone said read the first comment. This is a clue. Flowers in the background. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho ho. Oh my god, it's me. <laughs> I never said that. Let's keep going. I got a hot streak going here. Serious scene. All right. What's that movie? Gone Girl? Is this Gone Girl? No, it's not Gone Girl. Is this Scott Pilgrim again? This is Scott Pilgrim again, isn't it? I remember that falling on the bed scene very clearly. He's all like depressed in bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. This confirms it. Let's go. Guess who's drunk? Nice. I guess Wallace. You guess right. Very slickly edited too. There's a term for that. It's like cutting on the action. Lactose films, lactose films. You nailed the tone, you nailed the rhythm, you nailed the pacing. Next up. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. Probably not Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, that's all we get? All right, this is tricky. We can figure it out. All right, so big stretch. Is it a stretch? Could also be the genie from Aladdin. It could also be the genie from Aladdin. You know, 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Yeah! Is this fucking Aladdin? Specifically the animated version, the not Will Smith version. And I'm a little biased because when I was a kid, I always thought he said, 10,000 years will give you such a cricket in the neck. I was a dumb kid. So that's why this sticks with me. I might be um, projecting a little bit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ten yes! Ah, oh, I am invincible! Let's go. <laughs> Stop the count. Oh, no thanks. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Still going. <laughs> Just like the movie. This is Mario Bender's clips. We have another animation here. Let's take it back. It's like a bat creature. What the shit is this? What the shit is this? Why was this chosen? <laughs> why, why is the character drawn so bustily? Let's play again. Okay, you're doing some flips. Some really gratuitous posing and flipping. Oh my God, I don't know. I don't know, but I hate it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Ta-da, they're not impressed. And then something explodes in the background. I don't know, guys, I'm gonna keep going. You don't really think you'll win, do you? Things change. What is this? Meow. 
Oh. I, I never saw Batman Returns. <laughs> it's very impressively illustrated. I'll give you that. I only just, sorry, I was so distracted by all of this. I never stopped to look at this. That's very clearly the penguin. Hat, cane, bow tie. Damn it, I should have gotten that. Jack's too distracted by the cat's ass. I was! Written by Nay and Winnie McHorse. Uh, I'm the movie god. Okay. So it's looking down what I think is like a well. Looking down a well or looking down a hole. Okay. And that's it. We don't have a lot to go off there. My guess is it's the silence of the lambs. It's the Buffalo Bill scene where he's like, it puts the lotion on its skin. Let's go gamers. Mike, Michael, it's Stan. Stan Podola. I'm not even and, right. And I need you to come out now, okay? okay? Nope. Because you've got a baseball game tomorrow and I, I'd look pretty stupid if you didn't show up. Field of Dreams? What is that? Oh, it's Space Jam! Fuck! <laughs> Guys, it's Space Jam. It's not, um, it's not the Buffalo Bill scene. I love cinema. This is uh, from Base Bear. Every movie has one perfect shot. Oh, I love that. That's excellent. <laughs> Let's go. All right, Ratatouille. <laughs> Has to be Ratatouille. I'm gonna guess what's in the background. Is it Paris? Is that too easy? Like the background's really like deliberate. There is a scene in Ratatouille by the river. Is that when he learns that the rat can understand him? Final answer. Don't look at me like that. You're the one that's getting fancy with the spices. Let's go. I love DreamWorks. Hey there, Delilah. Loved your Ratatouille movie. This might be too easy. It was easy, but we need the easy ones to make the hard ones feel that much better when we get them. Let's keep going. Hold on. Is this the Balrog? Are we, are we back at Fellowship of the Ring? Is this You Shall Not Pass? But they're doing like a thing. They're doing a thing. They're totally doing like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing You Shall Not Pass, but they're doing like a bit. Yeah. You shall not pass. Yep. Yep, there he goes into the abyss. And Frodo's like, hell yeah, hey, good job. <laughs> oh, they're totally doing a bit. This is gonna be funny with audio. It's very obviously Fellowship of the Ring. I wanna hear your jokey stuff. Let's go. You can't, you shall not pass. <laughs> very sassy. I'm gonna get my staff. Get your staff, yeah. You shall not pass. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh my God. I just love the thought of Gandalf just like snacking on shit. This is from Gusto. Next up. Okay. All right. What's this? What's this? All right. Encouragement. We're cheering. Walk off Zoolander. Zoolander? Is that David Bowie? Spider-Man? Oh, this is Spider-Man. The wrestling match? Yeah. Bonesaw versus Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah! I knew it when you lowered your, your glasses and looked over. First off, you kind of have a, you do kind of have a Bruce Campbell thing going on there. And like, no, it's not my name. You're such to say the name. Right. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. He's in the wrestling match. He's wearing his little homemade costume. In fact, the scene is heavily memed. Yeah! Woo! Will the, Will the next, next victim. victim. Really good choice of font, by the way. The original PlayStation 3 slash Spider-Man font. You're a hero. Hey, it's basically you Spider-Man, fucking dumbass, hey, you got popcorn all over yourself. <laughs> you look stupid. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't remember that part. This is from Turquoise on YouTube. Let's go. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, you're wearing a crown. Now let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Now why are you dressed like that? Is this is this dogma? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who else dies? What other royalty is on their deathbed surrounded by family? You could say uh they croak. I think this is Shrek 3. <laughs> This is the beginning of Shrek the Third when the king dies. It's a very jarring beginning. I think this is Shrek and Fiona, and that's the king. And the only reason I think that's the king is because of this. This is a very valuable prop. If it weren't for this paper crown, I don't think I could figure it out. I'm dying. Ribbit. Did you say, yeah, you just said ribbit. You just, you just said ribbit. This is Shrek the Third, final answer. Let's go. Somebody better be dying. God, that's what he says. I'm dying. This is from Lazy Dog Media. If it weren't for the paper crown, 
I'd still be guessing. What a beautiful scene to choose. <laughs> okay, let's fucking go. Can I guess what this is from this frame alone? Not yet. We need more info. It's, I mean, we got a minute of data here. What could this be? Oh, okay. Monty, yeah. I was going to say, Zeus. I, I guess Monty Python at this scene, when he's like, oh, oh, you see something? Yeah. Monty Python, Holy Grail, again. <laughs> Great scene. Oh, good twist. Good twist on a classic. Oh, are we Peter, are we Peter Griffin family guying it? <sighs> Someone else in the chat wrote, get out. Comparable, but this is very much Monty Python. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, it's original. Original music. Not quite from the movie. I appreciate that. <laughs> nice. This was submitted by Redhead Kid 24. All right, here we go. Next up. Yo! I know exactly what this shit is. Oh my god. That's even the shitty prop gun I still have and still use to this day. How to make a movie if you don't have friends. How accurate is the gun? I'm your dad. What? I'm your dad. I've always been your dad. I love you. <laughs> Question mark? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that in about 10 years. Oh, that was great. And by the way, I do recognize this animator. We just saw your work for Yai Intros. Aaron G is me. Back at it again. I'm, I'm your dad. <gasps> I'm your dad. I've always been your dad. This changes everything. <laughs> this I love is so you, dad. cool. That's the coolest shit I've seen in years. Freebooting is a serious crime. This is like the, the biggest compliment. This is the nicest, and neatest, and most ridiculous thing to see. Let's go. Is this establishing shot a hint? Oh, McFly's, yeah, okay. So it's one of the Back to the Futures. Chuck, Chuck with you, hell yeah. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, it is, oh, it is. Oh, this is the first one again. Is he playing in this scene, is it like Van Halen? If I didn't see McFly's here, I'm not sure if I would have gotten it. I'm gonna shut up. Who are you? <laughs> Luke Aaron, no way, what up? Let's go. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, immediately, immediately with the wardrobe, the location, and the prop. This is the Lion King 2, Simba's Revenge. No, this is the Big Lebowski. This is the ash scattering scene. Great framing. Oh, look at this shot. Look at that beautiful shot. All right, scatter those ashes. Scatter those ashes. Oh, you even got the wind. You even got the wind. What? That's so good. Oh, that's good. That's a good little uh, May May. Lovely credits. So, so I ate my friend's ashes. Emotional. Oh, I want to watch that for sure. Yes. He died as he took so many bright flowering men. The Kason, Lawn Doc, uh -oh. Hills 364. Good night, sweet prince. Sorry. What the fucking travesty with you, man? I'm sorry. What is that shit about Vietnam? What does anything have to do with Vietnam? I'm sorry. Good acting. I believed it. This is from Austin Tistic. Great name. Drove almost 10 hours to LA to shoot at the same location. This scene took place in the movie. No kidding. You and everyone who helped you make this film recreation get 10,000 Yai tokens, 1,000 for every hour you drove to LA. Now we gotta move on. Oh, um, already I'm, I'm gonna get Spider-Man 3. Finger pointing Spider-Man 3. If there's a single finger point, I'm gonna give me 100 Yai tokens. Let's go. Oh, it's 100. Oh, the hair. Oh, the cringe. I can't believe they made this scene. They being, uh, you know, Raimi. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, even did the slide. Woo, baby. Yes. Oh, this is a very accurate recreation. I don't know. I think this is is this Thor Ragnarok too? I wasn't paying attention. All right, let's hear it with sound. Oh, it's so much better without music. Oh, I'm a fan of this so hard. Elijah Gillard. Now do it with the music, coward. You won't. Edit. Thanks for the likes. <laughs> Next up, what's this? Let's see if we can gather it just from uh, this frame. Black and white with the exception of an orange flame. Oh, 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 duh, Pleasantville. Pleasantville. Final answer, Pleasantville. Let's go. Right? Tell me it's not Pleasantville. Right, and he goes to the, the firefighters and they don't know what to do. This is also Tobey Maguire, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all like just dicking around. Oh, he's, oh, right. He's like, fire, fire. And they don't know what he's saying. And then he's like, cat? And then they're like, whoa. Right, right. 
Right. Cat? And then they're like, oh shit, oh. Whoa, 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 was that rotoscoped? That was awesome. Back to back Tobys. Cat? Really, really smooth animation at the end there. That's awesome. Oh, this was lovingly animated by Galarts. Next up, oh boy. Oh Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to watch it. Why is it so detailed? I don't want to watch it. Well, let's watch this and let's guess the movie. All right. <laughs> why are the why are the, why are the eyes so glossy? Why is the hair so fine? <laughs> what is this hell? <laughs> I'm just gonna write. I don't know, but I hate it. All right, let's go. I was just talking to him just a couple of minutes ago, and he was totally ready. Is this a Marvel movie? He did try to kill me. Yes, me too. On many, many occasions. What Avengers movie is this? Is this the first Avengers movie? It has to be. First Avengers movie. Final answer. Let's go. Fuck! It's Ragnarok. Fuck. This game sucks. I hate this game. Stupid game. I'm a fake Marvel fan. Can we give a shout out to this incredible animator's work, Cam Tunist? Great scene. Hey, why'd you make Mario's nose jiggle like a boob? I want to watch more of your stuff. So the takeaway from this little experiment is that captions are immensely helpful. They can make the difference between the social network and Pirates of the Caribbean. Now you might think that captioning your videos is this tedious, time-consuming process but you're so wrong. This video is sponsored by Adobe. And with Adobe Premiere's captions workflow and their brand new speech to text tool, captioning your videos takes a fraction of the time it used to. If you wanna learn more, I've made a tutorial mini series on Adobe's YouTube channel on how you can caption your videos quickly and easily. Click the link below to check them out. Also, click up here to see the full playlist of vids I watched. There are quite a few that I had to omit due to time. So see if you can guess the movie scenes that I left out. And click down here to see our previous film festival. It's sure to awaken your inner Scorsese.